guys, it's Lily, the vegan organizer, and I'm back again um, with a video that I wanted to do for a long time. This is about whatever became of my filofaxes since I switched to Hobonichi. So, um, my first video, which I did a few months ago, was about my purple A5 Flex, which I'll show you now. So, this one um, contained a Moleskine diary. Um, a vertical weekly diary, and then um, a Moskin Volant notebook, and I was using it as my work planner. Um, and then, um, as you may know, I um, kind of acquired this Hobonichi addiction, and um, I really liked having a monthly view, which you don't have with the Moleskine. And I didn't want to use printouts because I like having, like, you know, like the proper paper. Um, and so I switched it, and then I was sad because I still really liked my flex and I wanted to find something to do with it. So this is what I came up with. Um, I started to use it as a kind of like happiness book, um, because I'd already been keeping a, a sort of um, like a, a journal of just like noting down things that made me happy during the day or things that I was um, thankful for. Um, and um, so I put it in this. So I've got... Um, the same stickers that I had um, before. This is actually the, the Moleskine Vertical. Um, this is another part of the story. When I stopped using this as a planner, I was a bit sad. I, I didn't want to just um, put it in recycling. Um, so I was trying to think if there was anything that I could do with it. And I decided to make it into a, like a vision book to write down things, you know, like goals and things that, I'm, um, that I want to happen in the future. So that's what this is. And then I've um, just got these stickers in the pocket um, there will never be any peace in the world as long as we eat animals, which is um, a quote from um, the Yiddish writer Isaac Bashevis Zingel. And I'm just keeping that here until I find somewhere um, to put them permanently. And then I've got the My Little Pony stickers. Um, and yeah, as you can see, this started off as a planner. Um, and I started decorating it, and then um, I switched over to the Hobonichi. And so from here on, it starts being um, a kind of vision book, and I'm just recording things that. Um, I'm uh, hoping will happen in the near future and I, I really like it for that because um, it's got the day so I just write one entry per day and it's very quick it doesn't take a lot of time and it, it sort of makes me happy I've still got some old planning stuff that I have to erase but thankfully because of the friction pens that won't be a problem so I'm just erasing it week by week as I go um, and I really like that and I'm, I'm happy that I didn't have to um, give up um, the mole skin I'm just using it for something slightly different because it it really it wasn't uh, wasn't quite big enough um, for um, planning. I, I just ended up every week having like so many things that I didn't have room to put in, and I was putting them in the notebook, and it just um, it wasn't good. So that's that. But it's it's been repurposed, so it's okay. It's still working. Um, and then I've got my trusty friction pen here. Um, I like having the pen loop on the inside rather than the outside of the flex because then it just kind of folds away and you can't see it when it's closed. Um, and then this um, is another mole scheme. This is um, a daily um, di di um, day per page diary. And I bought this on accident um, before I bought this one because last year I had a, a hardback day per page diary. And so I thought that I would continue, but I thought the paperback one would be a bit lighter because I found the hardback one just like really heavy and chunky. You can see it's, it's quite thick. Um, this is as thick as a whole Hobonichi and it only has daily pages, it doesn't have weekly or monthly. Um, and then I felt like even that was too thick, so that was when I got the vertical one. And um, we know how the story goes from there. So this one was like kind of already, even, even before the year started, I realized I wasn't going to use this as a diary. Um, and so I decided to use this as my happiness book because I'd, I'd had one last year. A similar thing happened last year actually. Uh, but kind of in reverse, I accidentally ordered the pocket size daily diary from um, from Amazon, the Moleskine, in, instead of um, the A5 size, and so I had that extra and I started using that as a happiness journal. So um, this is just nice and uh, plain, and I just write down every day the like, things that made me happy during the day, and then I really like looking over it. Some days I've, I've missed. but. Um, I'm trying to do it every day, and um, so I just really like it because it, I can go back over it later, and it reminds me of like things that um, happened a few months ago that I might have forgotten about. Um, 
So yeah, that's what I'm using this for. And then there's nothing in here, nothing in here. So it's, it's quite basic at the moment, but I really like this and it makes me feel like um, the Flex is still an integral part of my life because I use this every day. It's just uh, got a slightly different job now than it did before. So that's um, my first A5 Flex. There's another one that will be coming up soon. Um, but in the meantime, I will show you this. So this is um, a Filofax A4 Metropole organizer. And um, I haven't actually done an unboxing of this. Um, I did an unboxing of a similar Filofax. It was um, the A4 Metropole zip portfolio, not the organizer. And um, I found that one to be just too big. It was just really big and heavy. And it was, this was what I wanted to use it for, what, I, what I'm using this one for, which I'll be showing you now. But I just couldn't use it, it was too big. I wanted to use it um, as a, a lesson planner um, for teaching. Because um, I've, I've got three different courses um, that I teach. And um, so I wanted to put all of my um, materials, teaching materials in it. And it was just too big, like putting it in my rucksack was just, kind of it was just too heavy and I didn't like it so that's gone to James and he's using it as a, a like a business um, binder for his um, for his art business um, he's got it like an Etsy shop and um, Amazon and so he's using it for that and that works really well because he doesn't have to take it out of the house and then I got this um, and this is um, kind of the same thing except that it's it's an organizer so it's typical Filofax it's um, got the clasp, then it has a pen loop, um, and this is obviously um, uh, like a PU leatherette. Um, you can see the Filofax logo on the side. Um, and I got this, um, this is um, Rainbow Dash, My Little Pony, um, as a planner charm. I'll just put that on the, the first loop at the bottom. So it's got four rings. And on the inside, um, I have this book, which is um, something that I'm using for one of my courses, and it just um, slots in the pocket here. So this is a full-length A4 pocket. Um, then I've got course evaluation forms, which I have to give to my students soon, because we're coming to the end of term. And then it's got these dividers. Um, and so behind each divider, I've, I've put um, the materials for one course. So this is um, one course that I'm teaching, and this is just my um, syllabus um, and a text that we've been reading, coursework, um, student register, some handouts, another text that we're reading, and, and an empty um, pocket. Um, and then the second divider. And um, I keep the um, ruler in front of um, the course that I'm going to be teaching next. So, like, say on um, Thursdays when my last course of the week finishes, I put it um, in front of this course so that I'll know that this is the one that I'm going to be teaching next. So that's the register, some coursework, um, um, mark scaling chart. This is some student courses that I have to hand back. And then some extra exercises that go with the textbook. Um, so that's the thickest folder. And then number three is the third course that I'm teaching, and in here I just keep um, um, a syllabus. And this is um, a Moleskine A5 Cahier, and I use this for my lesson plans. So this has just got everything that I'm doing for the week. And this goes in here. Um, and that's all that I have in this folder. So then I've just got a couple of... Um, extra pockets and some empty dividers. I've got six. And then this is where I keep my lesson plans for the other course, the, the first one. Um, this is an extra large uh, Moleskin Cahier, and this works really well. If I'd known that I was going to have an A4 folder, then I would have um, got an A4 something. I mean, they, they don't have A4 Cahiers, but I would have found some kind of um, a4, like the hardback A4 mole skeins, but I didn't know at the time, and it's it's fine, it's not too small. So this has just got all of my lesson plans in it. And I was originally going to keep it in the front, because that's closer to where that course is, um, 
so I originally put it in here, then I thought that it like kind of looked a bit lumpy together with this. Um, but I'm not really sure, maybe I'll put it back there because then, then it will be you know, kind of like right next to all of the other materials for the same course. And that's everything. It's got another pen loop here, but I'm not using that. So I should mention that this came with some really awesome inserts and um, I'm not using them and that makes me sad because I like them and I'm still trying to work out something to do with them. So when I bought this I knew that I wanted to use it um, as a lesson plan folder so I wasn't expecting to use the inserts but when they came I, I just thought that they were really nice um, and I thought like really I, I would like to think of something to be able to do with these. So it's got these really nice big A4 to-do lists and it has a lot of blank sheets, which the paper quality, being Filofax, is like it's not great. It's not really anything special, but something there's something very nice about these like nice big A4 sheets, and, and there are quite a lot of these. It's substantial. Um, then they have a lot of contacts, which aren't very useful for me. But then they have this really nice diary section. Um, oh, first of all, they have another cool feature. Yeah, some things like uh, EU members international um, information, and something that I really like, which is um, religious festivals of all different religions. So like they have um, the Jewish festivals, which is great because um, you don't see that very often, I mean, as well as all of the other um, sort of major holidays from different religions, which uh, is really cool. And then, yeah, I, I like these diary inserts. If you've uh, um, seen any of my other videos, you know that I am a, a fan of the vertical layout, uh, whether it's Moleskine or Filofax or Hobonichi, I just think it works really well and it looks nice. Um, and so it's got like these nice big um, vertical weekly spreads with um, space from 8 in the morning until 8 at night and like kind of two lines per hour, which I think is a nice um, setup. And then it has the days of the week in a few different languages, which is really nice. So, yeah, I'd really like to do something with these, and I just can't think of what. I mean, part of the problem is that they would then need some other kind of binder. Um, so I'd probably just try to find like some kind of um, cheaper one. Like maybe um, Leuchtturm uh, and Molskin both have um, A4 size um, folders like this that... Um, I think the, the most key one is three ring though, so I don't know if this would fit. But anyway, the main problem is that I can't think of what to do with it. Um, originally, James and I were thinking of maybe using it as, um, as a home diary, but then we got the A6 Hobonichi instead, and I'll do an update on that at some point because that has been working really well. Yeah, so sadly, these uh, really nice inserts are not being used at the moment. Um, so that's this. Now, back to the flexes. Um, okay, so I'm taking a Russian class as a student, and um, before I got this flex, um, I had these two notebooks. One was Moleskine and one was Paper Chase, and one of them was for um, vocabulary. That's this. So I've just been writing down all of the vocabulary that I've been learning over the weeks. And uh, as you can see, I think I've had this for like, Mm, maybe a year or a year and a half and like I've kind of hardly made a dent in it so this will last for quite a while um, my little pony stickers and then um, the paper chase one which isn't as nice I don't like the paper quality on this but I just like kind of I don't know I just I think bought it before I got into Moleskines and Leuchtturm so it's uh, still got space in it. Um, I use this for homework and like kind of grammar notes and class, class exercises and things. Um, so yeah, when I got the flex, um, I put both of these in it um, with the friction pen. And then I have this um, little Molskin Kaye um, that I use for writing down homework every week. So I just put in here like what I have to do. And this, as you can see, will also last a long time because this is all of my homework for one term, so like 10 weeks. That goes in here. So this is quite simple, but um, I, I really like having this because it's just like everything is together and I use this like twice a week because I'm doing two different Russian classes, like the, the main class and then um, a separate reading group. So um, I'm going to be taking these in. It just started, but I'm going to be taking these in to write them vocabulary. And that's that. And then this is my A4 Flex, which I did an unboxing of a while ago. 
Um, and I thought originally that I would use this in some way for language classes, but I wasn't sure exactly how. Um, and then it turned out that the book that I used for my Russian class um, is almost a four size, so I was like, perfect. Um, so I put that in here, in one pocket. Um, and then on the other side, I've got this um, like Russian grammar and chart. And before I was just carrying it around or like I would put it in the book and it was loose, so it's very nice having it in the flex. Um, I don't have anything in the pen loop because I've got this A5 with the pen, um, so I, I don't need a pen for this. Um, and then in here, this is another full size pocket, I just keep um, like class handouts. So anything that we get given is always going to be A4 size, and so that fits perfectly in here. And that's that, I don't have anything on the other side, but this works really well and it's just like nice and compact and it keeps everything safe and all together. So this is my Russian class packet. Um, and I really like this, this is so much better than just having an assortment of notebooks and books and photocopies. Um, and then, you know, having to get a pen from somewhere else, this is like the complete language learning package. So I'm really happy with this. Um, and yeah, this is my complete file of fact setup. So, um, let no one say that it was a waste of money buying all of these flexes um, and final faxes when I'm using a Hobonichi as a planner because um, I ended up finding some really nice uses for them and I get to use them on a you know sort of daily or a um, couple of times a week um, basis and um, so I'm sort of friends with all of them and it's great. Um, now just as an extra bonus I wanted to show you um, this. So. Um, this is my spare Hobonichi Kazan A5 cover. I got two of them and, and I ended up using um, the other one for my work Hobonichi. And um, just as an experiment, I've put in two Leuchter notebooks. So these are both obviously A5 size, five, uh, A5 size. And this one is gridded. I really like the gridded paper. Maybe it was the influence of the Hobonichi. After that, I sort of developed this um, uh, penchant for gridded paper. And this one is the same thing, but with lined paper. And they're both blank at the moment. And that's all that I've got in here, but they fit in perfectly. And they look really nice. Um, and I'm just trying to think of something to use these for. But um, I think that this is a nice setup as well. It's very similar to the Flex. And it's got this pocket in the back. So this is still a work in progress. I'm thinking of something to do with these. Um, but in the meantime, I just like kind of feeling like it's the, the cover is somehow being used and the notebooks have a home. So I'll update you on that when I've um, got something um, going on in this. Um, that's it for now, and I will see you soon. Bye.